This is Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here today to share with you the Genie series, the DNA thinking caps for science fans. I created these DNA Helix inspired designs in support for the March for Science, which is coming up on April 22nd, 2017, which is Earth Day. All of the Genie knitting patterns are available for free through Chemnitz, and I will have the links to the patterns both um, on the video and in the description section. These are the original Genie hats. We named them Genie because they've got DNA and they are knit beanie hats. So Keith cleverly came up with the name and that has launched this series. Um, this original Genie comes in two versions. There's the cable knit version and the color work version. Both of these, I would say, as written in the pattern, would fit an adult small medi or medium head. Um, they fit me great, and my head is 22 inches around. For the first time ever, I have provided line-by-line -line written instructions in addition to the knitting charts for both of these designs. Some people have asked me which one would be easier for a beginner to knit, and although this definitely would vary from person to person, I personally started learning how to do co stranded color work before I started doing cables. Um, with this, the stitches that you need to know for this hat are SSK, which is a slip slip knit decrease, and other than that, um, you need to knit and purl and then know how to do stranded color work. For the cable version, there are a few more stitches that you would need to learn. Um, but then once you've learned them, then the technique is similar to knitting versus learning how to knit with two strands of yarn at a time. Um, and so some of the different stitches that are involved in this hat are knitting through the back loop, purling to together through the back loop, and then of course there are some cable stitches. I might never have designed the Genie collection in support of the March for Science if I hadn't been approached by two different knitters who had seen my DNA cable knitting chart and wondered if I would design a hat for this cause. So I am really happy that I have been able to do this and share these patterns for free with anyone who wants to make them. But when I was contacted by the knitters, I was able to do the original genies um, in about a week. Um, and in that time, there was not yet a date set for the March. Well, April 22nd can be pretty warm in some places of, in this country. And so knitters were starting to think about, oh, we should make the hats in cotton, or what about a headband version? And so I present Genie, the next generations. These hats contain a horizontal DNA helix that creates a circle around the brim of either a hat or headband. Now, if I had put a little more thought into this, maybe I would have named these the plasmid hat, but these are also named genie. Um, so right here I've got an adult sized headband and a toddler sized hat. And on the pattern page for these, um, where the pattern's written in both toddler and adult size, adult large, um, for both the hat and the headband. Um, I have them modeled by my family members who we all have different head sizes to help give a sense of fit um, because I've gotten a lot of questions about fit with the original genies. Finally, I am pleased to present to you the genie pussy hat. I spliced together my DNA cable design with the pussy hat shape to create this square hat with um, a DNA cable that runs on the front and the back. I wanted to combine my support for the March for Science and my belief in evidence-based legislation and my support for the Women's March and my belief that women's rights are human rights and human rights are women's rights. And so this hat, I think, to me, speaks uh, volumes for these beliefs that are so important to my core. 
Now the Genie Pussy Hat has the DNA cable on a stockinette background, whereas the cables on the original Genie Hat are on a reverse stockinette background. So now with the publication of the Genie Pussy Hat, you have access to both um, versions of the cables and they could be used um, as you see fit. Here is the Genie Hat Collection. I hope that you enjoy these designs and will use them to show your love of science and to show that you're a fan of science. Um, whether or not you make them to wear to the March for Science or not, um, I am really happy to share these designs for free and hope that you will get as much enjoyment out of knitting and wearing them as I did out of designing them. I am Rebecca for Chemnitz and thank you for watching this video of my genie hat designs. I hope that you will check out my dyeing experiments and other tutorials on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Happy knitting!